everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are going to be unbagging and doing our sister versus sister Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of October, 2022. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, it is a monthly beauty subscription um, where you get five full-sized beauty products each month and a cute little drawstring bag to go with it. Now, the awesome thing about the Ipsy Plus is that you do get to select three of the five products in your box, and then Ipsy selects the other two for you. Now this box is $28 a month, but they do also have a $1.99 handling fee on top of that. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina. My sister's name is Rachel, and we are Subbox Lovers. We love to share subscription boxes with all of you Subbox Lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, beauty videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future upload. <laughs> Alright, so this month's theme is Halloween and it says ready to look drop dead gorgeous this month welcome to Ipsy's Halloween where we've conjured up everything you need for frightfully flawless skin and ghoulishly glam looks all in a bewitching bag design you voted for and that bag is one. I love it. It has pumpkins, snakes, brooms, spiders, potions, just so many different cute things on it. It has a purple string and it just feels so Halloween. And I love when things just feel like the holiday and the season. It makes me so happy. And it's really like spooky. It's not like cutesy spooky. It's like spooky because you've got skulls and potion and tombstones and bats and like, ah, I love it. <laughs> so the first thing that I received, Ipsy picked for me, and this is the Hey Honey Bee Clear Skin Purifying Bee Propolis Drops, which retails for $59. That's a really long name. So it says it's designed to alleviate skin redness, discomfort, and signs of acne. It says for complex skin, which I don't, I don't know what complex like skin is but hey but the packaging Ooh. is so so cute i love that it's very like pumpkin i was about to say it gives me, it gives me pumpkin vibes yeah so the uh, the key ingredients are b propolis oat beta glucan honey mastic tree gum so what is this is it like an essence or a serum it says use two to three drops by itself all over or as a spot treatment i guess it helps keep your skin clear I don't really know, but it's a cute little dropper bottle. I'm curious, does it smell like yeah. anything? Kind of. It smells like minty it, yeah, honey. Yeah, it smells like mint to me. Hmm. Well, okay. I, I like, I'm not mad about it. It's just, it's, I don't really know. I wonder if it says anything here about, like, how you use it. Like, I'm still confused about what it is. So these concentrated drops help clarify balance and restore complex and compromised skin. Um, it helps with specific blemishes and dark spots. Um, and you can use it on the rest of your body too. Okay, well, I don't really know how to use these still, but I guess I'll figure it out. All right, so the first item that Ipsy chose for me is by Complex Culture. It's their Filter Out Anti-Pollution Face Primer, and this retails for $28. So it's just a primer, anti-pollution face primer. I don't use primers, so I don't know. I actually, I think it's a nice item and I think the packaging, the packaging is actually like stunning and it makes me want to use it. So I might give this primer a try. I just, I personally don't really have luck with primers um, and it makes me break out. So I don't know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but I, the packaging is just like, it has a, um, just a little dropper thing. The packaging is stunning to me. I love the like deep brown and the gold accents. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I know we're not here to talk about packaging. Well, hey, but packaging matters, but if you're, if, if you're not into primers, we need to update yeah. your profile. But yeah, yeah, I need to go in and, and do my uh, profile. All right, so the next item that Ipsy chose for me, they also chose for Rachel as well, and this is the Dr. Brandt Facial Cleanser, which retails for $36. So it says here that this is a pore refining cleanser that helps get rid of buildup, excess oil, and stubborn blackheads without a combo of sal oh, excuse me, with a combo of salicylic acid, tea tree oil, and white willow bark extract pretty excited about this i feel like i've gotten this before but i haven't used it yet because i have like a large backlog of cleansers but i love <laughs> cleansers and this one sounds perfect for our skin types yeah it says it's for oily combination skin and we both have oily skin so it's it is sealed but i'm 
I am very excited to use this. I'm like Katrina as well. I have so many cleansers and I do feel I've I don't know if it's this exact cleanser, but it's a Dr. Brandt cleanser. I do think I used it though and I do think I liked it. So I don't know. I mean, I love cleansers. I love getting cleansers because I know I'm always going to need a cleanser and always going to, well, I'm always going to use cleansers basically. So I'm, ha I'm excited about it. So we're getting into the items that I chose now, and the first thing that I chose is by Studio Makeup. It's their Hyaluronic Acid Translucent Setting Powder in clear, and this retails for $35. I actually am just running out of powders. I go through powders like crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I use them so much, and I probably use too much, but... That's besides mm. the point. When you got oily skin, you gotta, you gotta lock it down. Exactly. <laughs> so when I saw that there was a powder, I was like, okay, I need that. I'm gonna use that. So I got it. And this is what it looks like. It's just cute, simple packaging. Oh, I like these. These are like the press-in kind. Okay, I've never used one. Do you, you press, like press your... your brush? Okay, well, yeah. She just There's just a poof of powder that went everywhere. <laughs> you just wasted about half of the thing. But oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. So you, you dip your brush in that. Okay, I've never used... Okay. There's powder everywhere. I've never used ones like that. I will say I get powder everywhere because I'm always in my bathroom like tapping it on my thing to get the makeup out and then dipping my brush in it. So I just get powder everywhere. So hopefully this will be cleaner. Yeah. I don't know. I've never used a powder with hyaluronic acid in it though. I'm not sure how I feel about that. If it's going to be good for my skin or dry out my skin or... It should, it, hyaluronic acid will, will actually help your skin hold in moisture. So it actually should be good for it. Yay. All right. So the first thing out that I chose is this here. So this is from Glow Oasis Skincare and this is their Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner. Again, five bazillion names. <laughs> this retails for $34. I don't have a ton of toner in my back stock and so I wanted to get another one and this one's really pretty oh that is now it is like glow and I don't love glow however I will say going into the cooler months I can use some of these glowier products a little bit more so this is a toner meets moisturizer that helps leave your skin hydrated conditioned and soothes soothed <laughs> thanks to its blend of apricot kernel oil soybean Ooh. extract and Sika um, so I'm actually pretty excited. I wonder, is this, yeah, this is the um, kind that you like doop doop onto like a cotton pad or onto your hands and just rub it in. I love the like touch of peach on the packaging. I really like that. I want to know if it smells like apricot. It like has a thing over it so we can't sniff it, but it's just giving me, cause it says there's apricot extract in it or something or apricot something. Yeah. So I wonder if it smells like apricot. It's with vegan probiotics and prickly pear extract. So I'm excited about this. I can't tell if it's like milky as a toner or the packaging's milky, but I think it is milky, but I'm really excited to have another toner. All right, so up next, I chose a product by Pacifica Beauty. This is their vegan ceramide barrier eye cream, and this retails for $16. Now I've definitely bought uh, Pacifica items from Target before. I know they have it there. Um, and I feel like there wasn't anything in this section where I was like, ooh, I want that. So I chose this purely because it's cute. Um, I use, I do use eye creams though, so I'm not mad about it. And I think it's just cute packaging, so that's why I chose it. Let's see. Um, it just has a little spout. <laughs> Nozzle? I don't, I don't know. know what you'd call it. I, I don't do. think it'll have any scent if it's an I don't eye know. cream. Pacifica stuff has always smelled good, but I have also bought like if it is scented, scented I would not be putting that under my eyes. No, it's not. It has a slight sunscreen scent, like yeah, very like a, slight. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, it feels really refreshing and cooling, so I'm excited about it. All right, the next thing that I chose is from Treluce Beauty, and this is their Hello Brows Dual Ended Micro Brow Pencil in Blonde. This retails for eighteen dollars. I love using different brow products. I never used different brow products. I stick to my same old, same old, but I'm excited to get this. Oh, she's Ooh. like thick and chunky and then skinny. So what is, it's a dual ended. Okay. So how does, what does it mean by dual ended? So on one side you have like just your regular, like, oh yeah, that shade will work on me. Brow, micro brow pencil. What is the other side? I'm like, is this a, is this like a, oh, it's like one of the triangle type ones. Oh, I don't think I can use that side. That side I think is going to be too light for my brows. My natural hair color is this, which is absolutely grown in and looks disgusting, <laughs> but I finally have a hair appointment at the end of this month, so I'll be back to full blonde. Um, so the thing is that my brows, I don't dye my brows, so they're my natural color. They're a little bit dark right now because I have stuff in them, but I don't think I can use that really blonde side. I'll just be only be able to use the micro side, which honestly is fine. That's not a big deal. That's the, the brush that I more like brush. 
that's the side that I'm more likely to use. So, um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have chose this, but it's fine. I like the color of it, the blue. I know, it's fun. I love Trey Luce's blue color. All right, so last but not least, I chose a shampoo. This is by the brand R & Co. It's their On A Cloud Boabob Repair Shampoo. Now, I feel like we don't get shampoos to choose from often, so when we do, I always choose them because good quality shampoo is can be expensive. So it's really exciting for me to get shampoos. Um, now, I will say I'll have to go out and buy a uh, conditioner because it only came with a shampoo, but this retails for $34. It's the R & Co. I've seen good reviews about R & Co before. You, and I've given you R & Co to use, I not this it. one. I want to yeah. know what this smells like though. So do I, so I'm going to break the seal. seal. Ooh, it's like a light scent. Ooh, I like it. It's like yeah. a light fresh. Yeah, light fresh. That ex honestly describes it per perfectly. So, and it is repairing shampoo. I do have damaged ends because I um, put my hair in buns a lot, but you know, it's a shampoo and I'm excited about it. So that, like I said, we don't get to choose from shampoos a lot. So it is exciting when we do. Yes. All right. And last but not least, I chose this product here from PYT Beauty. This is their Friends with Benefits Lip Duo in Bare All, which retails for $20. So on one side, you have like a regular lipstick. Oh, it smells kind of like sweet chocolatey. Ooh, it smells does. really good. So you got a nice creamy lipstick on one side. And then on the other side, you've got more of like a liquid lip moment. Ooh, that's pretty. So obviously you could wear them separately or you could layer those together. Is it a gloss or is it a lipstick? I'm now just realizing. Okay, no. So one, this side, the, the regular like lipstick side is a pigmented peachy nude matte lipstick. And then on the other end is a matching non-sticky lip gloss. So if you just want to wear a gloss, you've got a gloss, um, you want a lipstick, you want a lipstick, or you could layer them up and make a really juicy, uh, plump lip. I really like that. It's a really pretty pink color, which feels spring, yeah. not October, but I'm still excited about it. All right, so that was everything in both of our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bags. So now we're gonna give them a rating out of five. So if we like the product and we're gonna use it, we give it a point. If we don't like it, not for us, zero points. And then a half a point for products that we kind of feel meh about or products that we kind of need to try out a little bit more to form an opinion. So I'm going to give the toner a point, the face cleanser a point. I'm gonna give a half a point for this because I still don't fully understand it and I kind of want to try it out before I really know more about it. I'm also gonna give a half a point for the brow pencil just because half of it won't work for me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give a point for the lipstick. So that's a four out of five. Glam Bag Plus. I actually did like this Glam Bag Plus for me. For once, I actually felt pretty good about the choices that I made too. Mm. Is my excitement at a four? No, it's probably more like at a three, but I do think it was a good bag. It just, the only thing is it doesn't feel very like Halloween. I wish there was more like fun Halloween-y type stuff in it, mm. or at least one product. Nothing in there screams like Halloween, fun colors, out of your yeah. comfort zone, so. All right, so for my points, I'm going to go ahead and give a point for the cleanser, a point for the eye cream, a point for the setting powder, a point for the shampoo, and a half a point for the primer. I think it's really beautiful, but I just don't know if it's going to work with my skin. Um, excitement, I think I'm a five out of five. I really love this month. I liked all my selections. I think I'm gonna get good use out of everything. The shampoo, the powder, the cleanser, I know I'm going to use for a fact, and the eye cream, I use eye cream. So um, I'm really excited now. I do agree, like, especially these two products, just scream summer to me. But I also chose them. So there might've been other selections that would've felt more fall, but I'm really excited about this box and I don't know, this might be one of my favorite Ipsy's. Yeah. There you go. Um, well then, I can pretty much know your answer, but whose bag would you pick, your bag or my bag? Mine. Um, I think I would still pick my bag. Mm -hmm. Yours is more makeup heavy. Mine's very skincare heavy. Well, the shampoo, well, I did get powder and shampoo, but it feels I, yeah. skincare to yeah. me, which uh, I like. Yeah, I think both I think both were, were good, so. Definitely let us know your thoughts. Whose bag did you like better this month? Who do you think won? Um, what did you get in your Ipsy Glam Bag Plus? We would love to hear that down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. And we'll see you in our next video.